If somebody asks you to play the top 10 public golf courses in Wisconsin in 10 days, you say yes. Good morning. We did it. Aaron Hill is the final stop on our tour. It might have been fueled by fescue rescues, but I absolutely loved Aaron Hills. It is one of the best golf experiences of my life. When we went there, I realized it was a boutique experience. There's not a ton of housing on the property and there's one golf course. And so when you're there, you're there to play that course and there seems like there are you know fewer people to cater to and so the experience that you get when you're in these cabins and you're checking in and all of this stuff is just so special and you really feel like you're being taken care of the golf course was fantastic it was rolling hills it was blind shots it was everything that is irish golf in the middle of wisconsin it was Tremendous. The thing that sticks out to me about Aaron Hills is just how big it is. The property is massive. Um, it's, it's sort of spread out. When you go out and you look, you can see so much of the golf course. And it doesn't necessarily feel like it's big because everything is big. So when you get out there, the hills, they're bigger. The greens, they're bigger. Tea boxes, they're bigger. Everything about Aaron Hills is just really, really big. It wasn't just good golf holes there. It was it was great company and it was a great experience. They they allowed a couple of our hosts from different courses to come walk with us. And this made it one of the neatest rounds of golf I've ever been a part of. Dylan, great with the camera, unbelievable ball speed. I heard Dylan hit the driver for the first time. And it scared me. <laughs> what a fantastic person, you know. He, he really uh, loves Aaron Hills and he really loved showing it off. Lots of people joined us at Aaron. One of the guys that joined us that was special for me was JP. Uh, JP is from St. Louis, so he wasn't necessarily a Wisconsin creator, but he helped out with this project uh, immensely. Um, and uh, he's just a fellow North County guy. And for us to be up there sort of mobbing this golf course with a bunch of talented people and enjoying an incredible day together was, was something that made this day special for me. We start the round off with JP hitting it on the green and just knocks in an eagle like it was nothing and we're like okay this is the day we're gonna have like let's go jason and drew walked with us two guys that absolutely love aaron oh, well, we had 605 photos so far. it's like watching a really good movie um, that somebody loves and they're like watching you watch the movie and you get it, like, and you're laughing at all the good parts. That's what it was at Aaron Hills. We were being hosted by all of Wisconsin there. It was like really, really neat. It was just like this massive, like party, um, walking around this property and there were cameras everywhere and people shooting things and laughing and, you know, this group over here and this group over here. And having that many cameras, that many people creating, um, that many uh, different brains out there shooting things and hanging out. You know, you start to see what people pick up on and, and how they want to create. And man, it's just, it inspires you.
you know, when you're rolling your camera and you're looking at all of these things and at almost everywhere you point your camera, it looks like a screensaver. We had like 45 minutes left to go an hour and Dylan and I jumped in a golf cart and sped out to the course to fly some drones. It was awesome to see how two people's eyes capture a place so differently. It's just uh, very easy to create great images out there. This, this trip was a dream come true. You know, I hadn't played 10 rounds of golf in 10 days in the last 15 years. You know, Wisconsin just, just brings that love for golf out of you. You know, I think that that's an appreciation that I've acquired um, over the last few years in using my camera uh, in and around the game of golf, is being able to, you know, see it for more than just a score on a scorecard. What we set out to do with this project was to show you know, the beauty that is in the game. When you're walking around, whether it's the, you know, the cheapest municipal golf course you can find or one of the nicest golf courses in the country, that you can find uh, like the beauty that, that is on every golf course. Not much better than a golf course at Sunset, is there? When you look at the creators that joined us, the guys who look through their lens and take pictures of these properties, like they are also not just some of the best creators in Wisconsin. They are some of the best creators in the country. We are so grateful for these creators from Wisconsin, these gatekeepers that, that have a love for, for golf in their home state and they were able to just show it off to us. So to be able to share these fairways with them and, and hear stories and create with them was an honor and uh, definitely is something I will look back on fondly for, for a really long time. Just thank you for golf in Wisconsin. It's, uh, it's a gift to the world. We done? That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>